Hi, I'm Dana G with The Province. We're here with Nishka Nation carver Vince Fairley, who is right now the artist in residence at the Museum of Anthropology. Now Vince, right off the bat, what does that mean being the artist in residence? Artist in residence? Basically, I'm, I'm their poster child. <laughs> I'm just here carving away. To make yeah, I, I love the look of the moon mask. Yes. It'll be more, it'll be a a prop as opposed to a mask. Um, no one's going to ever wear this, but mm -hmm. traditionally Niska would use the moon mask as a prop. They'd hold it up. I'm going to put copper in the eyes and eyebrows when I'm done, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do a, an addition of nine with this in bronze. Oh, interesting. So, I figured nine. I, you know, I, I don't have time to think about it. Bill Reed already did that, and he figured 12. You don't want to do any more than 12 for some kind of reason. I can't remember why, but <laughs> Bill figured 9 would be better, so I thought, hey, yeah, he did the homework. Initially, I got started because I didn't know anything about the art or the culture. Uh, I really wanted to learn how to do it to help preserve it, but uh, it's alive and well. I met uh, Chester, and he said, do you want to help on the totem pole? And I said, great. See, my first inspiration was my late uncle, Sheldon Cornell, and uh, then it was Robert Davidson, Bill Reed, Jim Hart, and Norman Tate, of course, mm -hmm. being from the Nazca Nation. I like to emulate this guy, the famous artist, uh, wolf chief named Oye. He carved this is from the Eagle Clan, this particular pole, and uh, if you look at the eyes, the eyes follow you everywhere you go. Oh, cedar, is that what's red, cedar. red cedar. Red is cedar. Is this a preferred wood for you? Do you have preferred Absolutely, mediums? Yeah. yeah? Red. Why? Yeah. Why the red? Oh, red is the yellow. It's got a nice oil to it, so it has a natural uh, ability that it. it won't rot as well as much as other woods. It's got a preserved, natural preservatives, keeps bugs away, and it doesn't crack as much as, say, yellow cedar would. So if you want a chance to really see art in action, you should head out to the Museum of Anthropology at UBC and check out Vince Fairley, the Nishka Carver. He's going to be working on this moon mass piece until the end of summer. For more information, go to www.moa.ubc.ca.